Tats again in this video art tutorial. We're going to be drawing this lovely little cactus. So grab your choice of art making mediums and let's make some art. All right, we are going to be drawing a cactus in this video. Okay, grab something to draw with. And we're gonna begin with the pot. So curving line, just like that. Two lines down, and anytime you need me to slow down, hit that pause button, um, and then join me when you're ready to continue. Connect, and now we have a curved rectangle, slightly curved, okay. Two lines down on a slight diagonal to make a tapered shape and connect the bottom for a pot design. Now we're gonna make this trendy, so we're gonna do a pattern. First, we're gonna draw a row of triangles. And then between there, we're gonna draw a row of upside down triangles. Cool. All right, Pine, uh, cactus time, here we go. Curving line up and over, boop. And we're also gonna have a little cactus bud coming out on the side there, little arm, another curving line. Now, we're gonna draw a flower on the top, a little cactus flower on each side. So add a curving little line, so one up and then little ones on either side to make a nice little cactus flower. We're gonna draw cactus's face first, so two circles, and my face is kind of on an angle, so there's the middle of my face here, not in the middle. I've, I'm having it look to the side, so it's like a three-quarter portrait of my cactus. Okay, in each eye, we're gonna draw one big circle and one small circle, and then we're gonna color in the dark of the eyes black, leaving just those circles nice and white. So cute! Okay, between the eyes, little U-shape for a happy face. And two little circles on either end for some cheeks. Okay, super cute pineapple. Uh, what? Cactus? I just drew a pineapple. That's, I'm a little bit stuck on the pineapple work because I just finished drawing a vampire cactus for another video. No, vampire pineapple. What? Now I'm getting so confused. Okay, curving lines down from the top. I start at the middle. Bring some curving lines. Skip over the face on our cactus. Okay, same over here. One line down, curve on either side. Now we're gonna add some diagonal lines going up, some spines going up each of the lines for some pokey cactus texture. And don't forget to do the outside as well. Otherwise it's not very pokey, is it? Now, if you don't have enough space on the arm part here, just add some here and there, and then just do the outside like that. How cute is that cactus. Okay, we are ready to color cactus in. Grab your favorite cactus color. Whoosh. I'm gonna do mine green. Oh, it's so bright. Okay, now here's the thing. I'm gonna leave a bit of white, so I'm gonna go around the edge, but I'm gonna leave a nice little white edge on a lot of it, and that is gonna be my highlight. Highlights. And of course, value adds variety. Principle of design to our artwork. Variety makes our artworks visually interesting. It means that's gonna make people wanna look at it and be like, wow, this artist added so many details to their design. Absolutely fabulous. We're gonna impress everybody with this. Okay, we also wanna pick some cactus flower color, cactus flower colors. I'm gonna do two different colors. And again, I'm gonna leave a little bit of white at the top and some of those petals for a highlight. Definitely highlight. Okay, of course we need to color in the decor or the decorative design on our ceramic pot. Mm, you can color yours in whatever color you want. Oh, there's the color I'm looking for, a nice little mint keeping in things trendy. Beautiful. Okay, the rest of it. 
I'm gonna make it orange nice and bright. Of course, we're gonna leave that top line nice and white for a highlight. Okay, I'm gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna color these in between areas. Gorgeous. We need to color in those little cheeky weekies. Wonderful. Grab gray. We're gonna do some shading to again add value because value adds. Whoa, that's not dark enough. Value adds variety. Value adds variety. So we need to add some value if we want to add some variety. Down the bottom and sides, bottom of the arm, and the bottom around the eyes, underneath the mouth, underneath the lip, down the side along the bottom. Now we need to give it a shadow or else it's floating in outer space. So oval and colored in and just like that, your lovely little cactus drawing is done. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what kind of teacher you are, for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons, all the holidays and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design and art history and so much more my friends. It's a fabulous resource so check it out if you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom. You can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com in that search bar just click it and you can type in Ms. Artastic same as this YouTube channel. There I am you can click that and that's going to bring you to this page and you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down scroll and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click Artivity Books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out. Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Ms. Artastic signing out.